Now she is the founder and the chief servant of the Down Syndrome Foundation for Nigeria. My pleasure to welcome on to Close Flow, Rose Modi. You're welcome to Close Flow. It's my pleasure. Good morning. Okay, so just before we started, I said to you, um, so how did you get involved with this? And you said I shouldn't ask you that. That what I should be asking is, how did this find you? So how did this Down Syndrome matter found you? It started 26 years ago when I had my last child, a girl. And um, I found that she has this condition called Down Syndrome. As at that time, very little or nothing was known about it in our part of the world. Incidentally, I had her here in Lagos in one of the best hospitals. hospitals. And uh, unfortunately, most people even within the medical, medical profession. profession did not know much about it. I was the one who discovered. And um, I lived in Britain a greater part of my adult life. I had my older children there. And usually during antenatal Procedures, classes, yes. you, you would be put through a lot of issues regarding birth, some birth defects and all. And it was during one of the antenatal clinics that I attended that Down syndrome was discussed. And I, I actually forgot about it, but somehow 10 years down Later. the line, my last child happened to have that condition. So when they brought her to me, I took a look, look at, at her. her. I saw all the features I had seen 10 years back and my heart just sank. Because as of that time, nobody discussed really about it. I, and I didn't know the, the management and anything. And then seeing this child. Right in your arm. Right in my arms I am, and in our country. I was quite devastated, but I wanted to be convinced, I mean reassured that there was nothing wrong. I called um, the matron who was there as at that time. I told her, I picked up the baby, I looked at the baby. I said, take a look at this child. Do you see anything see, yeah. wrong? She looked at her. In all fairness, most children born with Down syndrome have these angelic features, very beautiful. She said, no, there's nothing wrong. She's a pretty little girl. I said, no, I think there's something wrong. And um, I showed her all the stigmata, all the things we were shown during the classes, uh, the features and so on. I said, look at her eyes. Look at her, the back of her neck. I looked at her palm. Uh -huh. I looked at her toes. All the, the stigmata were there, complete. She looked at me, looked at the baby again, and then asked me, are you a medical doctor? Now, okay, before you answer <laughs> that, because we know you're an engineer, so uh, so that our viewers don't get confused, now, is she a medical doctor or not? Now, but I, I just want to hold your breath, you okay. know, and um, so how bad was it for you? I mean, psychologically, that initial, that first moment when you discover this, how bad was it? Um, I can't describe it really now, but I know that I was totally devastated. I mean, the... The dream of every mother is to have a healthy child. You have aspiration what the child is going to grow up to be and all what not. Because I think we parents live our lives through our Children. kids. Mm. And then to see that this child would be somehow challenged, I didn't know. I, I was actually very, very devastated. Now, I, I, I ask that because I'm trying to look at other mothers who probably may not even have had the privilege that you had because you had some level of foreknowledge because you've, you've been exposed so well yeah. what the conditions, the symptoms should be. So what can you say to other mothers who may not be as privileged as you, as you are? Well, that's actually why the organization is here. Beautiful. To counsel parents and educate them because ignorance is a bane of our society mm. and something you don't know about could be very bad for you psychologically. But if you have knowledge of a particular thing, you are well able to handle it properly. And I was able actually to handle it because after that initial shock, I then put, uh, came back together and said, now, 
I can't wish this child away. Hmm. Therefore, what next? Then I needed to put things in place to make sure that she had a, a good, good future. Life. That's yes. right. So.